friends and buddies, two years ago, the Grado Black one gets my nod and recommendation in the $70 to $80 Group A cartridge group reviews, the runner-up being the Gold Ring Elan. But this time, the tables are turned. Grado Black 2 120 Sing Dollars Retail price No discount No favours <laughs> no <discount>. Professional relationship <laughs> <laughs> And still friends <laughs> Thank you Mr. Mm. Okay. Alright friends, I'm back at my retailer again to have my Grado Black 2 cartridge exchanged. One for one exchange. My honest retailer <laughs> offers me one for one exchange. Very honest. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about two years ago, uh, it was once. Online uh, purchase of a Grado Red 1 about two years ago from LPD. It came with a King. But that's how you found me, right? After that, uh, the <laughs> sub ideal experience with uh, purchasing Grado Red 1 uh, about two years ago online. So, that's why I sought him out with my subsequent Grado purchases starting with the Grado Gold. Yeah, others like Grado Platinum 2. Yeah. So it's a bit lah. Yeah. So it's a bit lah. Why? It's the same as the my one. Before I forget. Oh yes. The card. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. The okay. My studio that one. Yeah. yeah. Came with the stylus cover out uh, and out. That one. So <laughs> the cantilever and the stylus is hitting everything within the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite bad. Uh. So I think I'm going to 
take this. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Thank no you. Problem. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, thanks. sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Mister. Okay. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Very honourable. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Hello friends, unboxing of this Grado Black 2 replacement cartridge. High frequencies, slightly more extended with the E1 than the Black 2 and also more refinement and delicacy displayed by the E1. The low frequencies, transient rise not well coped by the Grado. There is also a fair degree of distortion heard as it cannot cope with the heavily modulated grooves. Finger strokes are missed by the Grado but well caught and reproduced by the Gold Ring. Also, the Gold Ring provides the deep bass grunts that is lacking with the Grado. Dynamically wise, amplitude wise, power wise, the gold ring has the Grado beaten. Both cuts fare equally well with mid-range tonality though tainted with some upper mid-range brightness and edginess. 
窗见到月亮，在我窗见到，猜不透你心肠，猜不透你心肠。The gold ring reproduces the plaques better than the grey doe. With the E1, you can also hear the dynamic transient attack and feel the midst of the resonance of string and body. The black tool lacks the above qualities. Next to the gold ring, the grado sounds comparatively wimp, poor in harmonics. Rebecca Dario, a slam dunk here again by the gold ring over the grado. With the E1, there is more flash, more nuances. More colors, more inflections. The E1 also shows its better dynamic range than the black two. Luego noche te vi, tu mano me tocó. Luego noche te vi, tu mano me tocó. Stanley Turrentine's saxophone exposes the black tooth's poor dynamics and complete lack of headroom. Also, with the grado, you hear no air against reed, you hear little to no rasp, no harmonics. And the resonance, fade, and sound staging is lacking. The humble golden E1 presents all these above aspects much better. Clearer harmonics and a better sense of timing conveyed, the gold ring hugs at your heart better. You get into the groove better with the E1. While images sound blurred and hazy with the grado. The gold ring pulls ahead with better defined images, with various instruments spread out well.
crescendo passes by like a disinterested hum with the grey dough. The gold ring wearers is not shy at all, allowing instruments to land their clear hands into the crescendo, its right full flight propelled by good dynamics. A resounding victory for the E1. Conclusion, I don't think there's anything going for the Black 2 with its poor quality and workmanship. My local retailer has been honest to let me know back in early 2018 that all his first batch of Prestige Series 2 cards which arrived have zero output in one channel. The spec of the new 2 series, well the core inside got problem. Mm. One side, no sound at all, so it's not connected at all. So we return our batch to them. But okay, they also went happy. I said, okay, let me send you a new one. <laughs> so now the new batch, every cartridge coming here, we're going to test the connectivity. <laughs> he himself returned all of them to Grado, and Grado gladly sent him a replacement batch. However, here we see with the second batch, the black tools are all having severe issues with all their cantilevers slanting to one side. A king's cantilever. A slanted cantilever is not something that customers should tolerate. With all this talk of the poorness of the black tool in workmanship and in sound quality, we do not take anything away from the Goldring E1 as it shows good sound reproduction throughout and is an improvement over the previous Goldring Elan. The E1 provides a great listen and is a vital cartridge for us when we want to shop for a cartridge below $100 and which provides enough qualities that endear us to vinyl analog playback. More than listening to digital with its inherent set of frailties of time smear, phase shift, pre-ring and post-ring. Warmth of analog music is actually not an uptilt in the low mid range and upper bass frequencies. It is actually a spine. A spine which I do not hear with digital. When I listen to digital, proceedings seem to be floating, not grounded, has no solidity, just not to have any spine in it. Vinyl analog has that spine. Choco. Video editing here and of course Moko is here with us. <laughs> <laughs>